Dr. Taylor, you tweeted on April the 23rd that, and I quote, there will be a runoff, period, and I'm going to be in it. What makes you so certain that you can get into a runoff in this race? Am I really polling that low? I mean, really? My inner polling didn't show that. The people of Georgia don't think I'm polling that low. And it's funny, I haven't been in a debate yet. Thank the Lord I'm here today. I'm thankful for the Atlanta Press Club who stood up for the people and let them have a voice. I am one of the people. I'm an educator, and I've been fighting for abused kids for 19 years, and I'm sick and tired of what's been going on in our state. Enough is enough. Our election was hijacked. Our children were masked. This governor failed us in Georgia. The people know it. I know it. I'm running. I'm here. He's going to have a woman running against him because of his failure. Those we elect are to work for us, not against us. The Chinese Communist Party, the CCP, is the worst evil on earth. Our governor met with two consulates four times before Dominion was signed. Chinese made solar panel farms that do not work are being pushed on our farmers. This is the communist, liberal, leftist agenda of the Green New Deal. Ms. Davis, by your two question, billions. please. I'm Taylor. I'm Taylor. I'm sorry. Thank Taylor. you, Ms. Dr. Taylor. All these examples prove you're not working for us. Governor Kemp, we the people want to know what's stopping you from severing ties for Georgia, renouncing the CCP, and putting Georgia first. So what was your question again? They have a school system and teachers that are not trying to indoctrinate our children and making sure that we strengthen all parts of our state. I just want to say that the school system has been neglected, and we not only have CRT and SEL and comprehensive sex education teaching transgender perversion to our children, we also have anti-white racism that has not been addressed by the current administration. It's taken over our schools, and it's ruining, this, it's ruining the students, and it's ruining the environment. Dr. Taylor, how would you have handled the pandemic? Can I speak just one uh, second no, before she gets... Hindsight no, we're, we're, we're is 2020. Gonna move, we're going to move on. Hindsight is 2020. So for being fair, I'm not going to say that he did everything wrong. What I am going to say is the school shouldn't have been shut for the length of time that they were. And we should have unmasked children very quickly. We still have schools wearing masks to this day. We have kids with speech problems that are worse and worse. And kids that should already be progressed on that aren't because of the failure of this administration. 2020, totally. 100 percent Donald Trump won he won we have a fraudulent pedophile in the White House because Governor Kemp failed he can say he didn't have the right to call a special session the Constitution's clear he not only had a right he had an obligation it's clear in the Constitution he chose not to do it and why maybe it's because he wouldn't renounce the CCP a while ago I don't know I'm not him but I'm telling you the people of Georgia have had enough that is why I'm on this stage and that is why I'm going to win because the people have had enough Stacey Abrams will never win Georgia in a fair legal vote let's hope we have one maybe they're scared maybe they know they'll go to jail but I will say this and I've said it in many meetings I'm asked this question almost every single week I will support whoever the Republican nominee is I'll even knock doors for them I knock doors for myself which the two good old boys don't, twin rhinos over here. But I'll knock for them if one of them wins, but they'll never win. Candace Taylor will win, and I'll be the first female governor of Georgia. Each candidate will now have 60 seconds for a closing statement. I hope you've been paying attention to the amount of time that's been spent on the establishment's choice and the fake media's choice on this stage. Back and forth with rebuttals when the other three didn't get any. I hope you've been paying attention. I am your candidate because I'm one of you, and I'm going to fight for you every single day in that governor's mansion. I don't need a record in politics to get it done. In fact, that's the problem. We've got a bunch of failures on the stage that didn't get it done with failing voting records in the Senate and failed our whole economy and our children during the pandemic. So I'm going to tell you right now, when you go vote on May 24th, do not vote early. You vote for the person who's going to represent your values. And I'm going to put the Constitution first, and I'm going to put Jesus first every single time. And we're going to fix our schools. We're going to get rid of this anti-white racism and oppression of our children of color. We're going to get rid of the transgender manipulation, and we're going to ensure that boys aren't in our girls' bathrooms, and girls aren't in our boys' bathrooms, and people aren't being raped. And we're going to get rid of kindergarten teachers, men with beards and lipstick and high heels teaching our children. We're going to get back to being moral in Georgia. We're going to put morality over money. I'm Candace Taylor. I'm the one you've been waiting for.